Hello, I'm Janice, and I'm a guide at Hearst Castle in San Simeon, California. I'm standing just off the large living room in Casa Grande in the West Vestibule, which is the main entrance to this home. I'm here today to show you French artist Jean-Léon Jérôme's Pygmalion and Galatea. Jean-Léon Jérôme was a painter, sculptor, and teacher. He was one of the most prominent and well-known 19th century artists. His historical and mythological compositions, such as Pygmalion and Galatea, were painstaking works, often melodramatic and frequently erotic. His artistic output included over 550 paintings, 100 sculptures, along with drawings, etchings, etc. He first executed this subject in four paintings in 1890. The only one not lost to the art world is at the Metropolitan Museum in New York. He created this marble sculpture and exhibited it at the Paris Salon in 1892. Mr. Hearst acquired this piece at the April 1910 New York's auction sale held by the American Art Association in New York. Based on Book 10 of Ovid's Metamorphosis, Pygmalion was a sculptor who carved a woman out of ivory and found his statue was so beautiful and realistic that he fell in love with it. The goddess Aphrodite, feeling pity for him, made the statue come to life. This statue is six and a half feet tall, carved white marble, originally tinted a light pink hue on Galatea from the waist up to show her coming alive. Only traces of the color remain. There are three other artworks by Jean-Léon Jérôme in Hearst Castle, two paintings of Napoleon invading Egypt on the fourth floor, and a statue of Anacreon in the lower south duplex sitting room. I'll be sharing the Anacreon sculpture in another segment. Thank you.